All right, you guys. Back here at Foam Concept Jets main headquarters, which is actually my basement. Just gonna do a video of some of the builds we've done. There we got the MiG-29 using the striker parts, which is this jet here. Get the MiG-29 using the P-51 Mustang electronics. We moved on to the bat wing, 30 millimeter EDF, or you can use the 28 millimeter. There's the one from the build video that I cut out. All these are the ones that I cut out in the build videos. There's the bat wing that I designed. It's got a thrust vectoring nozzle on there. We'll get to that later on. I'll end up doing a whole video on how to build one of those. So I'll just devote a, a whole video to building that thrust tube with the thrust vector nozzle. That way for our upcoming builds you guys already know what what's going to be going on with it here's the MiG-29 with a 30 millimeter EDF unit also got the thrust vectoring tube on there got a thrust vector nozzle There's my 64 millimeter bat wing. This thing flies marvelous. And we got the 70 millimeter. Basically designed the same as the micro bat wings. We're eventually we'll get into doing some of these biplanes. And then some of the concept jets that I've designed. I call that the Euro Raptor. Kind of looks like a Euro Fighter and a a Raptor. Also got a thrust vector nozzle on that one. And we'll get into some 3D foamies. Current project that I'm working on right now. A little F-117 stealth fighter jet. Looking sweet. Here's our last project, micro bat wing. Oh, quick little thing. I'm going to start marking on here so you can find your dihedral in your wings. So this is just a little cutout. You'll cut it out and then place it on the bottom of your jet to make sure you got the right dihedral. The same goes for, you're going to put this template up against the bottom of your jet and it'll show your elevons what they're set at as your main wing, the leading edge of your main wing, front leading edge. So I'll start putting those on all the plans, make sure you're getting that right. A lot of tips I do is a lot of foam cups I use on stuff. Another good idea is get yourself some of these nice little one millimeter foam trays. 
you can cut out stuff out of them. But they're for smaller parts. I mean, you can get a, about a hundred of these things for a couple of bucks. Alright, I'll get back with you with the PDF plans for the F-117 Stealth Fighter. So stay tuned, friends. Over and out.